I called up on the radio that it's military aged males running from us. I seen some disturbance on the ground. And uh, when I seen that, we came up on the fire. That's when I woke up in San Antonio. That explosion was me. That big explosion right there, that was, that was my explosion there. I just sat in the parking lot for maybe 10 to 20 minutes just crying, because I didn't know what to expect. You know, I died six times that day. First phone call she got, I was KIA. I already been dead for minutes. And they said I just took another deep breath. I just came back. Honestly, it went down from there. Life started getting hard. Mentally and physically, stressful, PTSD, everything started piling up. Still, I'm still working on that now. I've been there. <laughs> I wonder if it was hell, but hell better be scared of me because I done been there. Uh, <laughs> I feel like my kids to see that their dad is giving up, so I fall. Before you know it, man, I was, I was out of there. We went to a radio station. I thought maybe it was just like another thing, like hey, I always been. They just want to hear your story, and that's it. And no, it was something different. And we started talking and everything. We got to meet everybody, and uh, and that's when they came up and they said, "Operation Falling Home, we want to build you guys a home." Just wanted to cry because of, like that was a big relief of trying to find a home. I don't want to cry here, <laughs> but I just like to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. This is nice. I, I don't know, man. It was it was awesome. When I first walked in, I was very shocked and joyful because I started crying. I loved it. I love it. <laughs> Everything that I was was thinking it was gonna be like. Everything blends off each other. Everything feeds off each other. It's just like a smooth floor, relaxing area now, and it actually makes me feel like I am home now. They made longer cabinets for me instead of so many different single cabinets that you would have had to reach higher just to open up one. I could reach lower to open up both and still be able to reach whatever I need to reach. It helps me from not having to use so much uh, force onto the injured areas. <laughs> I, I really I really appreciate this. This is, this is very nice. So. <laughs> it takes a, a big burden off of yeah. families when they do something like that to help the veterans. They coming out to the civilian world is completely different from the service side. It's completely different. This will free up a lot of time now for me to be more into the church and more into these other extra activities that we have. So and instead of having to worry so much about how are we going to do it, where are we going to get the money from, um, how the bills are paid and everything like that. This is definitely financially and mental, emotional, you know, satisfaction, and it's a blessing. And I, I thank Operation Falling Home and Southern Living all for the help that they have provided here. <laughs>